As we know, Christmas is supposed to be, we call it Christmas for a reason, because it's supposed to be about the birth of Jesus. And so that's what I want to talk about today, is why was it important for Jesus to be born of a virgin? Because the truth is, it is important. The Bible says he was born of a virgin. It was prophesied that he'd be born of a virgin. And I believe he was born of a virgin. But there are Christians out there who believe that he wasn't. Right? They say, that's impossible. Right? We know how babies are made. They say Mary must have been with a man at some point in her life. This is what some Christians believe. Because uh, they claim it's impossible for Jesus to be born of a virgin. And I would agree with that, right? It is impossible. But the thing is, that's the point. It's the point, I believe, of the virgin birth was to make it very clear to everyone, to be a clear sign to the world that Jesus was not just another normal person, that God, that there was something supernatural about what was going on. If Jesus had a natural conception, a natural birth, if he lived a natural life, if he died a natural death, if he just stay dead like an, another natural person. If there was nothing supernatural about Jesus, then why would Christians believe in Jesus? It doesn't even make sense. I could claim to be the Christ or something like that. If I don't show evidence that I was anything more than just another normal human being, then you would have no reason to believe that I was anything more than just another normal human being. And the truth is, I'm not the Christ, by the way. I believe Jesus was the Christ. I believe he was the one sent from God. So the reason that Jesus was born of a virgin, the reason that Jesus performed all these miraculous works, the reason that Jesus died and rose from the dead, one of the, reason, one of the big reasons for these things is because it was, became a clear sign to everyone that Jesus really was who he claimed he was, that he was more than just a man, that he was the Son of God. You see, if Jesus couldn't make wine out of water, if Jesus never received confirmation from his heavenly Father, if Jesus, like other men, couldn't walk on water, then we'd have no reason to believe that he was not the clay, but that he was the potter, right? There you go, there's your Christmas wrap. So anyways, the point is, if Jesus didn't do any miracles, we'd have no reason to believe that he was anything more than just another human being. When the Jewish audience of Jesus' day, when they were trying to determine, is this really the Son of God? Is this the Messiah that we've been waiting for? The Christ that we've been waiting for? They would ask him for a sign, and this sign wasn't, Jesus, can you count to three for us? Uh, that would really prove to us that you were the Son of God, or that you, were, uh, that you were sent from God, or something like that. Why would they ask such a silly question? They didn't ask that, because that's silly. That doesn't make sense. They asked him for a miraculous sign, something that no one else could do, something that would be impossible for mankind to do, because then that would prove that he wasn't just another normal human being. That would prove that he really was who he claimed he was, that he was from God. In fact, Nicodemus in John chapter 3, they said, we know you're from, he said, I know you're from God, because no one can do the things that you do, except he be from God. They were clear indications. When he rose people back from the dead and brought them back to life, when he healed the blind, when he healed the lepers, when he himself rose from the dead, these were clear signs to everybody that Jesus was more than just another normal human being. He was who he claimed he was. He was, there was something supernatural about him. He was doing things that were impossible for mankind to do because he was not just a man. He may have been fully man, but he was also fully God, the hypostatic union. So anyways, that's the point of the virgin birth. So when people, when Christians claim to me, it's impossible to be for Jesus to be born of a virgin. I say that's the point, because if it was possible, then we wouldn't have any reason to believe that God, who can do the impossible things that are impossible for us to do, we wouldn't have any reason to believe that he was from God. But because Jesus was born in an impossible way, a way that we can't do on our own, it was a clear indication that Jesus was from God. And that's the kind of the point of the miracles. They were supposed to be signs to us, signs that Jesus was from God.